hello everyone in this video i am going to explain about drill time estimation in the drilling process the workpiece is considered like this and above the workpiece we will place the drill bit the workpiece length is suppose l then in the entire workpiece you want to make a hole means the length of the hole will become l that is indicated with capital l here and this is the drill bit this is rotating with n rpm so n is the speed of the drill bit in revolutions per minute this drill bit is advancing in the downward direction with a feed of small f this feed we are measuring in mm per revolution that means distance of the drill bit it is moving in one revolution in the downward direction that we can denote as feed now after preparing the hole the drill bit portion will be like this this is the d that is the die of the hole then to make this hole how much time it will take that time we have to estimate so that is the time for drilling the hole t equal to l by f into n this is the equation l is the length of the hole f is the feed n is the speed in rpm now if we substitute all the dimensions here l will measure in mm then feed is in mm per revolution then the speed n is in revolutions per minute then automatically if you cancel all these things revolution revolution will cancel mm mm will cancel and finally you will get the unit as minute so time you will get in minutes here okay in most of the cases not only the length of the hole you have to consider the approach distance of the drill bit and over travel of the drill bit both you have to consider this approach distance you can estimate depending on the operation this over travel also you can roughly take these two are indicated with a and b but the minimum distance the drill bit has to travel after completing the hole is c this is the distance because of this cone this cone distance you have to find distance travel by the tip because of this conical shape so this cone angle is total cone angle that is drill point angle is 2 alpha then this is the total diameter half of it is t by 2 this is the distance the drill bit has to move after completing the hole this is the minimum distance it has to move okay this c distance we have to find so that's why i am taking this small right angle triangle here then total angle is 2 alpha half of it is alpha this opposite side is d by 2 this particular adjacent side length is c so that's why opposite side is available adjacent side adjacent side is available then you can go for trigonometric relation tan alpha tan alpha equal to opposite side that is d by 2 by adjacent side c from this you can get c value as d by 2 tan alpha okay in the examination approach over travel these two are not given means you can roughly take the values like 3 mm to 5 mm this particular c distance the distance that the tip of the tool bit has to move that c value you can find if alpha value is given okay if a b c values are not given directly you can take the length of the hole and you can find out the time during the drilling process how much the material the tool is removing that material we have to calculate so that is called as material removal rate so for that purpose the equation is like this pi by 4 d square f into n f is the feed in mm per revolution n is the speed in revolutions per minute this is the area in mm square then if you substitute all these units then finally you are getting the unit for material removal rate as mm cube per minute okay to understand this concept clearly we will solve a problem now the problem is like this a hole with 40 mm diameter and 50 mm depth is to be drilled in a mild steel component so hole diameter is given that means d is 40 mm and depth is given that means hole length l equal to 50 the cutting speed can be taken as 65 meter per minute that means speed is given in meters per minute that speed you can consider as v here from v you can calculate n that is in revolutions per minute and feed rate is 0.25 mm per revolution 
calculate the machining time and material removal rate. Assume alpha equal to 59 degrees. Okay, alpha value is given means you have to understand that you have to calculate the C value. Now extract the given data. Diameter of the drill is given that is 40 mm. Length of the hole is given that is 50 mm. Velocity is given that is 65, 65 meter per minute. And feed is 0.25 mm per revolution. V equal to pi dn by 1000. So why we are getting this 1000 is D value is in mm. And V value they are given in meter per minute. If the V value is given in meter per second, then here in the denominator you will get 60. 60 into 10 cube you will get. Here this is given in minute, that's why 60 is not required. Okay. So from this you can get the n value. Just rearrange it, then n equal to V into 10 cube by pi into d. From this you can get the n value in revolutions per minute. Then a, b values are not given. You can assume that a value, b value are equivalent that is 3 mm. This you can assume or you can neglect. That is your, your wish because that is not given in the problem. Then c value how to calculate because alpha is given. So c value how to calculate. c equal to d by 2 tan alpha. Then machining time t equal to L plus A plus B plus C by F into N. And material removal rate equal to pi by 4 D square F into N. Here all the parameters are given. Just do the substitution and find out the answer. Here you will get N value as 517.25 revolutions per minute you will get. C value as 12.02 mm. And machining time T equal to 0.53 minutes metal removal rate is 162500 mm cube per minute this is an mm cube that's why you will get a larger value so in this way you can solve these problems related to machining time in drilling and metal removal rate in drilling these problems are very important in the gate point of view also thanks for watching this video if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.